Okay, it took me a while to figure out this brand new miniature black tripod to go with this camera, with this new and improved equipment, but we back for the Goldbergs, the episode Johnny Benson reaction video, so let's get into it. You see this thingamajig here? It's running out of shit to store, so I either have to get a new phone or have my dad figure out a solution to have me keep that same phone that's gonna be two fucking years old by the time Father's Day gets here over the summer and by the time season two of fun in the sun is already in progress you know either get a new phone or figure out a solution you know you know just like you know keep it but like still hold on you could actually find a way to still hold more stuff than it should but you know this is going to be two fucking years old by father's day 2022 when we do by the by while we're in the middle of fun in the sun season two but anyway let's get into it jesus christ i don't know what the hell i'm saying anymore but okay so the first episode back i was a killer it was a killer. I did not waste any time, like, giving my lungs a workout from laughter and giving my cheeks a workout from smiling. And I already need to shave the nasty-ass whiskers off. And just to warn y'all, like, Ward Burton, I won't be going to work at, at, for, for the foreseeable future anytime soon. But, you know, work, you know we're going to work on going to bed at a decent hour, effective starting tonight. This way we can still get our winter randomness, randomness vlog in so we can actually say happy birthday to Dommy Baby and Jerry Springer Man, which should be happy belated because their birthdays were both in December, and hopefully we can still manage to go to the Crotch of Doom and say happy Bobby Labonte 18th birthday to his oldest, Dale and Elizabeth Baker, who plays basketball with my best friend and her best friend, Brindley Lynn Kerr. So... Therefore, it was like a love affair episode tonight. I know Jeff Garland isn't there. It probably is like not, no, like, the reality is currently he's no longer there. But then I should have known there were some episodes he filmed that hadn't aired yet before his sudden exit over, the, you know, during this Christmas off, you know. But, you know, but... Yeah, so therefore, I don't know how they're going to write this into the storyline, you know, how are they going to address it? I mean, they did a good job addressing, you know, George Siegel's real-life death to, like, write it into the show that the grandfather died, but that's a conversation we can save for another day, or, like, leave in the, in the season premiere, in the season 9 premiere reaction video, but I don't know when Jeff's coming back, you know? Sammy Lerner is, like, a unique, cool cat in real life, you know, he's a cool person and all, but I just want to know, when the hell is Jeff coming back? I've missed him, but, you know, Beverly, on the other hand, the first Bev, Bev bomb of 2022, she's the queen of F-bombs, and if she's not, I don't know who is, but, you know, I mean, you know, for now, it looks like everything's fine between her and Murray, based on um, you know, Jeff Garland's real life exit. But you know, we don't know how we're gonna the, how they're gonna address this on the show as soon as they they get to that point. But anyway, what else what did we see in tonight's episode? I can look on my phone to see what, the beautiful uh, what's her name, Erin Hayes, came back as Jane. You know, the smoking hot tennis lady. <laughs> It's my favorite guest star see on this season of this season of Goldberg so far. Molly McGlynn, shout out to her, ended up liking my post I tweet on Twitter about the first life lesson of twenty twenty two, which I'll get to in a minute. Um we got to see the debut of Bill Goldberg. I, who, who is the character he played? I'm looking at his Instagram. Coach Nick. So we got to see Coach Nick, you know, in action with you know, as you know, with played by Bill Go the real life Bill Goldberg, and then we had Leah Thompson on camera as um. Wait a minute, is wait a minute. What was her character's name again? Okay, Fran, Fran. So we got to see the grand debut of Fran. Even she's probably been on the show before, and I probably haven't paid attention. So. Yeah, Fran, yo, Leah, Leah Thompson as Fran, Jane Bales, Smoking Hot Aaron Hayes, Richard Kindness for Mika Mike, <laughs> all the, all the, all the, all the underdog stars came out tonight, I <laughs> mean, and Bev never ceases to dis never ceases to amaze, she never fucking disappoints with how funny, you know, Wendy McClendon Covey makes her, you know, and you know, um, Barry... Was to, was Barry Slam Duncan, even though that was basically a little a, like a little kid super, even the little kids could dunk. And I, Joanne has like the most contagious laugh, let alone it's so cute that it's very contagious to the point where I start laughing too. And Beth Triffin in real life seems like the cutest little angel out there you could ever meet down there in Hollywood. So, 
Therefore, and also shout out to Haley Arantia's real life boyfriend, Greg Furman. I was speaking to him, well, not face to face like I did though, like I've done with, you know, be the likes of Brianna Sierra Colin. I was like, you know, interacting with them in the comments of his live, even though I, I left a few minutes early before he ended it, you know, considering that I wanted to fuck around for a little bit more before I eventually fell asleep. And, um, I mean, it's always good to see date Kenny Rat. Rat Ridwan. I want to make sure I'm saying his name right. Always good to see Kenny Ridwan as Ridwan as Dave Kim, my main man, Kenny Ridwan, I should say. And Bria B was back, you know, Sadie Stanley. I first heard of Sadie Stanley as Sean G. M. Brown do the Kim Possible movie, which is what gave me Coop and Cammy. And we you know that's not what gave me the goal the, the the show, the Goldbergs whatsoever. No. It was basically my longtime support of Kelly Berglund, who I was fully blown into for three years when she cast as Ren. Even though she wasn't on as Ren last year because of her filming heels on stars, a show I have sadly have yet to catch, you know. Well, man, I wouldn't, it wouldn't, I think it would make sense if I'm not, if I haven't caught it yet, considering I'm not fully blown into Kelly Berglund anymore. I still love her as my all-time favorite. We're still making her that birthday. She'll be at the Spurs-Cavs game next month, but at the same time, I'm still not fully blown into her like I once was before. So, therefore, although she's still the reason why I got the Goldbergs to begin with, which is what gave me Haley Orantia, what gave me Anna Grace Barlow, you know, who, we haven't even seen Lisa yet this season, and she's the one that gave me the big leap, along with Coop and Cammy, with Kevin Daniels being on there, but, you know, but, you know, today, in the first life lesson of 2022, the first life lesson of 2022, um, love isn't always perfect. When you're with the right person, you learn to love them, and not despite their flaws, but because of them. And that's exactly what I'm feeling with Margaret Firestone as of December 21st, 2021, and this month will mark our one-year anniversary, January 21st. So, I will see you all for episode Brett Bodine next week when it comes to these kind of videos, you know, episode 11. And then, um, as for the videos in general, if, you know, if, if, you know, if everything goes according to plan, considering I won't be going to work, back to work for a while, I will see you all tomorrow for the winter rand randomness vlog, when we, will know, hopefully go to bed a decent hour tonight, wake up in time, you know, get some stuff done around the house, and maybe go out for a little bit, and, you know, get, say happy birthday to belated birthday to Dommy Baby, and, you know, do the TikTok with Jerry Springer, man, and say happy birthday to Dale and Elizabeth Baker at the Crouch of Doom for her Bobby Labonte 18th birthday, so have a good night tonight, and a better day tomorrow, life will give you a lot of lows, but when you hit a high, enjoy it, it ain't for the week, Goddamn be you. Take care, everyone. Good night. I'll see you all for the next video in general. And I'll see you next a week from tonight for episode Brett Bodine of the Goldbergs and the reaction video to go with that episode in particular. See you later, everyone. Swing it. Let me take it.